Hello my quilting friends! Leah Day here with a new free motion quilting design. Today I'm stitching ocean pearls and it begins with this open free form shape. It can be anything that you can think of. I like this curling kind of slight swishy kind of swirl shape. So now I'm travel stitching up and I'm gonna plant a pearl right in the middle of it. It's just a nice circle shape right in the middle of that shape. There we go, now travel stitch all the way down and all the way back. And there's a method to my madness here. The reason why I'm doing all this extra travel stitching is just simply because I think it looks good and it's gonna draw more attention to that part of the design. Now I'm gonna echo around it and I'm gonna hit the tip of that shape and then echo all the way back and end up a short distance away from my starting point. Now I've got this little weird area, so I'm just going to travel stitch and echo until that area is entirely filled. Just repeating lines of, just curving lines of quilting, just like that. And it's okay to be a little messy. This is just a little four inch practice square. It's okay if you stitch outside the lines. Now I've got another little weird area here. What do we do with that? Well, same exact thing. I'm just going to stitch gently curving lines, just echoing that shape and that's gonna fill it in beautifully. There we go, that looks great. Now travel stitch all the way back out. And as you can see, yes, there is some travel stitching here and that definitely does add to the intensity of this design, but that doesn't mean that you couldn't quilt this on a bed quilt. Just wanna make the shapes nice and big. That starting shape really swing out, make that really nice and big if you decide to stitch this on a bed quilt. So now I'm gonna travel stitch up again swirl into a circle shape. And you know, you could do all kinds of funky stuff. There's another design called Oblivion. It's very similar. And I basically just stitched this, but then I kept adding more texture to the inside of that shape. It was like kind of more of a football shape for that design. So please keep that in mind. You can always change it up and just keep adding texture. In that case, it was like arches and all kinds of stuff. In this case, I'm just gonna leave it really plain because I like that effect. And now I'm travel stitching, hitting the tip and travel stitching all the way back. It's kind of like a flowing lock of hair with a bead in it. <laughs> That's what I, the design inspiration, you know, I was just kind of drawing and sketching different ideas to illustrate ocean. And this is one that came to mind. So here I'm gonna echo back this way and then I've got this strange gappy place and you know, it's, it might be a struggle to figure out how to fill in spaces like this. So I think I'm just gonna branch out and travel stitch back. That'd be like one half of my starting shape. Now branch out and do the same thing over here. And then now I'm just going to echo this. So basically what I'm doing is I'm kind of pretending that that got cut off. And if you put your finger over it or your hand over the design, you can kind of see what it's gonna look like. That's what I'm mimicking in this area. I'm just making it up. So it looks roughly consistent with the rest of the design. And there's a lot of other things I could have done in this area too. You know, I didn't have to necessarily do it this exact way. So here I'll kind of come up with a half circle shape just so it looks consistent with the rest of the design. And then now, I'm gonna echo to this side of it as well. And then I'll fill in the rest of that little gappy space. That looks great. Really happy with that. Okay, so I more or less worked in a row all the way around, kind of flowing around. Now I'm gonna flow out of this area. So I'm gonna curl up and around. That's the nice thing is your starting shape is really what's gonna expand the design for you. It's gonna be enable you to move through your quilt. In this case, it's helping me turn this corner. I'm gonna go in and sneak in and do some echoing as I'm working my way around and travel stitching. There we go. This is looking good. And you know, there's no right or wrong place to put that little pearl shape, that circle shape. I think in this one, I'm gonna put it right here. That looks good. And then travel stitch all the way back. Now travel stitch along that edge and come out with an echo. Something that I think is really important is hitting that tip, for this design at least, that adds to the texture of the design because as you hit it more and more often, you're adding more texture to it. You're adding more thread to that area. 
Now, if you break thread when you hit spots like that, that have a lot of intensity, that might be a sign your thread is just a little bit weak. Switch to a thinner, stronger thread like Isocord, and it might be a little easier and you'll be able to get away with that. You know, travel stitching is absolutely allowed so long as you can do it. Uh, when I first started quilting, I was using thread, just cotton thread, that was just a little too weak. And so anytime that I tried travel stitching, even just like this, just two layers on top of one another, my thread would immediately break. So that's something to keep in mind if you're struggling with that too. So that's it for Ocean Pearls. Here's what it looks like when you finish this design. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning this new free motion quilting design with me today. But you know, this isn't the only type of machine quilting you can do on your home machine. You can also use a walking foot, and sometimes this is a little bit easier for beginning quilters to learn. So if you're interested in learning more about walking foot style quilting, join me for a new quilting workshop called the Mega Star Walking Foot Workshop. You'll learn how to piece the mega star quilts, design a simple quilting design, and quilt along with me as we knock it out with three simple, quick walking foot designs. Learn more about the Mega Star Walking Foot Workshop at leahday.com slash megastar. Until next time, let's go quilt.